Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off your hot and cold water supplies. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the Samsung washer pulsator assembly. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new pulsator assembly. The pulsator assembly is what helps agitate the clothes inside the washer. The main reason to be changing it out is if it's cracked and damaged, or the spline is damaged and it's not turning with the transmission. In order to change out the part, we have to open up the washer lid. Now that we have the lid open, we can reach in with a small flathead screwdriver and remove the protective cap so we can access the bolt. Once you have the cap off, you can pull it out. With the cover out of the way, we can reach in with a ratchet and a long extension. We're going to use a 10 millimeter socket to take the bolt out. If the pulsator starts to turn while you're taking the bolt out, you may have to hold it while you're taking the bolt out. And once you have the bolt taken out, you can reach down and lift it out. With the screw out of the way, we can reach in with a small flathead screwdriver. There's three notches cut into the pulsator. Um, just stick the screwdriver into it and lift it out. Once you have it off the shaft, you can pull it out of the washer. Here's the old pulsator assembly next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new pulsator in, all you have to do is set it down into the bottom of the tub and line it up so the shaft goes on. If it drops straight down, great. Otherwise, you may have to turn it so the splines line up. But once you have it all the way down, we can drop the bolt down in there and get it started. Then we can use that 10 millimeter socket again to tighten it down. Same as when you took it out, when you feel it start to snug down, you can reach down and hold the pulsator and tighten it down. Once you have the bolt in there and tightened down, we can put the cap back on. The cap just snaps into place. There's those three little locking tabs that you have to line up with the three little cutouts. All you have to do is line them up and snap it into place. Now that we have the cap installed, we can close the washer lid, plug it back in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.